So we move to sources of external information. Um, so a wealth of strategy information is available to organization from both published and also unpublished sources. So what is unpublished sources? Um, for example, customer survey, market research, speeches of professionals, stakeholders, meetings, TV program, interview, and so on. That is unpublished sources. Lah. Sources, bahan yang kita dapat, kita tak war-warkan. Ataupun published sources, yeah, contohnya macam periodicals, journals, reports, government documents, um, abstract good newspaper, benda yang kita dapat daripada sources yang kita boleh dapat macam daripada newspaper, daripada journal, yeah, atau artikel, daripada data-data daripada ini yang kita dapat itu kita panggil published sources. Um, a company website is usually an excellent place to start to find information about the firm clearly on the inventor relation web pages ya yeah? so investor re relation web page ni dia ada by, uh, akan beri information about the firm organization okay um, so the external factor evaluation matrix so this is uh, important no eh? yes um, sebab it will give um, strategy uh, it will make um, ataupun dibagi summarize of strategy to the organization so this uh, EFE matrix allows strategy uh, strategi uh, strategize yeah to maximize uh, to summarize the um, evaluate evaluate economic yes yeah, social cultural demographic environment and so on. So it will strateg uh, it will give uh, or allow strategies to summarize the external forces all the external forces yeah. The first one is uh, list 20 key external factors as identified in external audit process, including both opportunities and threats that affect the firm and its industry. Number two, assign to each factor a weight that range from zero to one. So zero represent not important, one is very important. Number three, assign a rating between one to four to each key external factor to indicate how effectively the firm's current strategy respond to the factor. So, kita evaluate lah ataupun kita rating dulu ya. Yeah. So, the external factor dalam organisation itu. Number four, response is superior. Number three, above average. Number two, average and number one is good. Then, number four, eh, multiply each factor's weight by its rating to determine a, wet, uh, a weighted score. Number two, number three tadi tu kita darabkan. And number five, sum the weighted score for each variable to determine the total weighted score for the organization. Kita tambahkan semuanya dan kita akan dapat total score of the organization. Jadi kita nak tahulah uh, score organization ni bagus atau tidak. Lah. Yeah? So the highest possible total weighted score for organization adalah empat. And four. The lowest is 1 and the average is 2.5, right? So, the result yang kita dah kira tadi sama ada 4, highest, 1, lowest, 2.5 is average. For example, yeah, a total weighted score of 4 yeah, indicates that an organization is responding in an outstanding way to existing opportunities and threats in its industry, which means the country, uh, sorry, the organization or firm actually uh, ready and also having if competitive advantage lah. Eh, sebab dia ready for the uh, apa ni, existing opportunities and also threat. In other words, eh, the firm strategi strategies effect strategize effectively yeah, uh, will take advantage of existing opportunity and minimizing the potential uh, adverse effect on external threat. Okay. Uh, what about uh, a total score one? Yeah, so a total score of one indicate that the firm strategies are not capitalized an opportunity and uh, or avoiding the external threat. Okay, so you can see all the example of the um, so this external uh, forces matrix. Yeah in the slides that you have, right? And not this chapter.